In the peaceful village of Greenfield, three inseparable friends, Lily, a curious girl who loved asking questions, Ben, a playful boy with a knack for solving mysteries, and Toby, their loyal, mischievous golden retriever, spent most of their afternoons exploring nature. One warm summer day after a quick rain shower, the trio stumbled upon their favorite spot near a muddy creek. Lily squished her fingers into the wet mud, laughing. Why does mud feel so gooey? It's nothing like sand. Ben scratched his head, looking at the dry sand nearby. Good question. Sand feels dry and gritty, but mud is sticky and smooth. Why is that? Toby barked and wagged his tail, sending a splash of mud onto Lily's shirt. She giggled. Lily and Ben sat by the creek, their bare feet covered in mud. First clue, Ben announced. Mud happens when dirt gets wet, but why does water make it feel so different? Lily jotted this down in her notebook. Let's compare mud to sand. They're both on the ground, right? What makes them act so differently with water? Toby, as if on cue, ran to the sandy area and began digging, throwing dry sand everywhere. Good idea, Toby. Lily laughed. Ben suggested, let's head to the library and learn more about this. At the village library, the friends found a colorful book about soil and materials. As Lily read aloud, they learned some fascinating facts. One, sand is made of large yet rough particles, often tiny pieces of quartz or other minerals. Water slips through the gaps, so sand doesn't hold together. Two, mud, however, comes from soil, which has smaller particles like clay and organic material. These tiny particles trap water between them, creating stickiness. Three, molecules in water are naturally attracted to other molecules, which makes them cling to the soil particles in each other, forming a smooth, gooey texture. So mud is like a team, Ben said, piecing it together. The water molecules grab onto the dirt particles, and they hold onto each other too. That's why it feels sticky. And sand is more like a pile of marbles, Lily added. The water just runs between the gaps without holding anything together. Toby barked and wagged his tail as if he'd understood everything. So, they shaped small walls with both materials and watched what happened. The wet sand crumbled quickly, but the mud held its shape. Mud wins, Lily cheered. Now I know why people use mud to build houses in some places, Ben said thoughtfully. It's strong when it dries because the water evaporates, leaving the particles packed together. Guess we're understanded. The difference between the mud and the sand, Lily said.